Hello, and uh, welcome to the inaugural Let's Play from uh, G&D Media. I am, as ads would say, half man, half mix mixing deck, and now half TV studio engineer, <laughs> Andrew Glassford. And uh, I'm delightfully joined by Adam Williams. How are you doing, Adam? I'm very well. Looking forward to the game, mate. Yeah, this is this is a new frontier for us. It is. I'm uh, excited. What, we'll see how it goes. This is a game that was made by the guys who wrote Half Earth Socialism. We had them on the podcast recently. Lovely guys, Troy and, Troy and Drew. Um, and we're going to see if we can save the world from a planetary crisis in 8-bit form. I'm a socialist, ads vegan, and a socialist. You know, we've got all the parts for Half Earth Socialism. Yeah, Let's see if we can save the world from ourselves. All right, we're booting up. That's... A good sign. <laughs> a good sign that it's working. So um, this has just been released, hasn't it, Andrew? So they brought out the book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when I looked to, to log on to this, I think a week or two weeks ago, it wasn't it wasn't downloaded yet. So this is like literally hot off the press, right? This is fresh off the floppy disk, mate. Cool. Like, cool. That. Oh. Ooh. Should I, I should, should I read it for our viewers? In 2022, a socialist revolution swept the globe. I fucking wish. <laughs> Strong start. Wish, man. Strong start. Yeah, yeah. The regions of the world united to establish Gosplant, a global planning authority. All right. Gosplant was tasked with the undoing of the myriad harms that centuries of capitalism had unleashed on the planet and its people. All right. You've been elected as Gosplant's first lead planner. All right. Job. I Got can just imagine Drew here. now on the keyboard. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, oh, he's sat next to us playing the tunes. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're the lead planners. It's our duty to bring warming to below a degree, the extinction rate to below 20, and emissions to below zero while there's still time. Okay. So, nice and simple. Nice and simple. Uh, you must do so without letting people's contentedness dip below 0%. People have to be it's content. It's sounding more difficult by... Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, they will vote you out of office. Okay, all right. So we've got to keep people on side. And you must do so without letting your political capital dip below zero. Fucking hell, like this. There's a lot going on with this game. Isn't there? <laughs> Barely even started. All right. I'm focusing Otherwise, more on the music, mate, so I hope you are reading yeah, yeah, this yeah. And, and absorbing <laughs> what it's saying. Right. Otherwise, your adversaries may take the opportunity to replace you. Bastards. We're in Havana, right? Imagine right? we're in of Havana. The Where first else? planning session will take place. Here we go. Tunes are gone. Uh, okay, first planning session, 2022. Havana. The people are content. Biodiversity is suffering. The world is still warming. And Parliament is ready to work with you. We've got 60 years left in our, in our tenure. It's a 60-year job. Wow. Answer. Could you have brought some pretzels and a yeah, drink? Yeah. Yeah, just a bit of oh, background as well. So, you know, people might be thinking, oh, Havana, the socialist, so it's obviously going to be Havana. But if you read the book or listen to the interview, um, you know, Cuba is at the forefront of of some of their some of these ideas. So it's not just mm -hmm. a, a sort of nod to you know, a communist country. Um Cuba is doing some things around this or as close to, to this as what is currently on, on planet Earth, so that, that's why yeah. they've chosen Havana. And I think as well that if I was going to have any job for sixty years, I'd like it to be in a you know a, a nice place like Havana. Like, yeah, if you had a sixty-year job in Milton Keynes, yeah. like I don't think you're going to have a good time. <laughs> I don't know uh, if I told you let's... this, Andrew, but I, I backpacked around Cuba for five weeks. You know, Did you? oh yeah, I loved it, hell, absolutely loved yeah. it. Yeah. Um, all right, let, let, let's start saving the world. All right, continue. What's going on? Welcome to the Goss Platform application. You can call me Gossy. Hello, Gossy. This application lets you make your plan. Got it. We can set research priorities, initiate large-scale projects, implement political policies, or ban certain production processes. All right. Straight in the degrowth. First thing I'm banning is... Uh, is to Profit. To, anyway, uh, yeah, profit. <laughs> Started straight in. Profit is out. <laughs> no more. Uh, you'll need to spend political capital if you want something to happen. Right? And if people are unhappy with your performance, you'll be removed from your position. 
It's very tense, this goss here, I'll be honest. If you get stuck, we can get more details. All right, we'll be, we'll be coming back to you, Gossy. You got it, Ed? I hope you have, mate. No, I haven't got it, but let's, <laughs> let's have a go. All right. Let's have a go. Okay, I, I, I think it's a bit of like a deck building game if you've ever played it. Right. Like that. It's not like any right. game I've played, I must admit. It's not reminding me of anything up to now. No, this isn't um, our Lucy playing GTA driving tanks around the place. Um, right, okay, so we've got to click add. Oh, okay. We'll need some help from various technologies and techniques to survive and flourish over the next century. All right, Gossip. Not only new ones, but also reintroductions and refinements of older ones too. Bring back the spinning Jenny. Here you can <laughs> turn political capital into research points. Use set research priorities. All right. So it is like a deck building game. Uh, right. Is that something that you've played before? A deck building game? Oh yeah, man. I'm a I'm a fucking massive nerd. Because I've never love, played one of them. Love deck building games. You never play Yu-Gi-Oh? No. No. No? Oh, mate. Mate, right after this, we're going to play some Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, drag a card to the scanner to add it to your plan and hold it there to commit more okay. search points. Cool. If you, change, if you change your mind, drag the card down to reset. Right. What we got then? So Can I Biosphere got... 3? So again, a little bit of background on the book. Um, there was a project called Biosphere yeah. 2. I won't talk about it now, but when you read the book, it is absolutely fascinating in fact yeah. we, we we speak about it in the podcast as well if, if you don't want to read the book but yeah it says by yeah, yeah. free right so we've got we've got green container ships third generation biofuel alternate refrigerants and they've also got time frame so it's like 15 years for the green container is ships. that when you say 15 years what, what does it mean that that's how long did they last or that's how long I think that's how long it before it you have to oh, replace them or I guess that's maybe how long it takes to to like oh research to research it. it right okay yeah what else we got down here electric cell arc furnaces fast green reactors green hydrogen floating uh, long range electric aviation fucking hell should I swear maybe I shouldn't swear. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, fat phage phage therapy. Phage therapy? Sure phage therapy. Reduces the last chance the chance of last antibiotics stop working. Oh God. Or we could search for extra extraterrestrial life. <laughs> that's oh. what we should do. Oh. We should start. That's there. well that's a desperate measure <laughs> that. I think if we get to that then you know yeah. we fucked it up. That's uh, that's where Elon's going. Uh, okay. Where do you want to start so, then? So how I, many do we get pers allowed? Personally, how long are we allowed to have? So, um, I right. don't, I don't know. I, I think I want to. I think maybe we can throw a couple in because we've got the points at the top. Let's. I think let's start with. Uh, I mean, they're all. They've all let's got go with the hemp cream. You know. They've all got big yeah. pluses. Um, yeah. Because, like, I, I think if we start with a hemp Yeah, I'm going right, to say, let's start local can... rather than sort of boats and planes and stuff. Yeah, yeah let, let's start local. So what's this hemp yeah. here? Increases land yeah. demand for concrete. Right. Yes. yes. So we need let's more land, but then yeah. we can build stuff. Basically concrete right, made out of hemp. Put it up there. Yeah. Okay, we're researching that. And that's got eight years left in it. Although so when no, it says it's got eight years left. To it. Oh, I can make it so it's um, faster. I'm guessing it's not the full eight years right, we have I've, to wait. I've done it so it's got four years left now. <laughs> oh, four years left already. Well, I, so I used more. I, yeah, so I, I've whacked up the political capital. So it's only going to take four years. So like everyone and their dad is now in a shed <laughs> making hempcrete to sort it out. Um, so do we get another go? That or? Is that emissions maybe up? Uh, all right, let, let's look at policies. Maybe policies is where we should start. Uh, wide range changes are needed to put us on a long-term path towards sustainability. Here you can use your political capital to wrangle support for policies to implement worldwide. Just swipe a card as a scanner and presto, it's gone to the plan. One planning cycle to implement policies. All right, is there turns then? Oh, I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> if you change your mind, you can swipe it out. All right. Fanonist curriculum. Fran's, oh, Fucking yeah, hell, man. Fanny. They've really gone for it. Love it. Yeah, yeah. What was that one about? Utopian yeah. curriculum. Okay. 
mm. utopian cur curriculum, which unlocks the eco socialist video game project, so you can build the game in the game. I like that. <laughs> I enjoy that as an idea. <laughs> and we can unlock the reconciled town and country, and we can abolish prisons if we set up a utopian. Like the music, curriculum. by the way. What do you reckon? Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling utopian. I have me moments. About you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let, let's you know, go with marine restrict, protected areas, like you said. Restrict air travel. You know, the viewers need the... to know that Andrew has recently given up flying oh, yeah. because he is a yeah. full-on climate activist and it's the right thing to do. So what's this? Restrict air travel. <laughs> Reduces demand for aviation by 50%. Okay. So it... Reduces... What does that say? Content. But oh, it okay. reduces okay. contentedness by two. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's too so high in this game. Pissed. Is that high? Um, it doesn't I, I, sound high, but... I don't know. I don't know. Let's let uh, let's do it. Oh, I can't click on it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Let's do it. Oh, like right. it. We've enacted it. I like Bam. that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get an infrastructure. All right. Should we look at infrastructure? So we've okay. that, that cost quite a lot of political capital. Um, we're on 39 now. So we want to do something. Maybe we should start with the composting and just make it, you know, let's let's start small, smaller local. People can't fly, but they can compost. Increases what's that? All plant-based food production by five. percent Yeah, go on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you better. Five percent. All right, let's hit that. Oh, I'm using lots of. Stuff. Okay, ah, I see. So like, the political capital is what everything costs, um, and you can use the political capital to do research right. or infrastructure or policies and the policies have a flat fee but the other two you can put loads into it i think maybe i've put quite a lot into compost when you say you've <laughs> put a loads lot. into it what have you put into it um i've put right. six of the these points here of the political capital and right, i run out okay. we pushed out of government so i can yeah it's only a little one that isn't it i've still got one yeah so let's can I... oh there you go there's a bit more information on each one until that's Ooh. good an old f yeah old go fashioned read out, low tech mate. solution the environmental -less, an old fashioned low tech solution that could have mass carbon sequestering potential half of all waste is biodegradable but instead of decomposing into useful carbon rich fertilizers this waste produces methane emissions which is dumped in an anaerobic landfill and the uh, environment, environmentalists support this, but the accelerate, acceleration is supposed right. it. <laughs> God. Right. Okay. So we, we've done that. What do we do next? Do we have to skip a year? So a quick question. You know when it says, you know, four years right. and eight years. I mean, what's that in real time? Yeah. How long have we got to wait for this? So I, th I think maybe... It is term based, and maybe each turn is a year. So no, well, let's, let's find out. Turns a bun. Change our production processes. So the process manager. Press change production to go to the process manager. Why do we have processes to produce two critical resources, food and energy? Oh fuck! I've not even. <laughs> So we've laid out basically our manifesto. We've spent loads of political capital, and now we've got to generate <laughs> food and energy as well. <laughs> so we may have to rebalance some of this stuff. <laughs> Production mix of each of these sources. Okay. Take time to make all the changes. Yeah, Gossing, all right. Some may require more land or energy, and some require certain feedstocks, uranium. Right, I'll try and change some of the process mixes right now. Okay, so this is our energy mix, which is coal, no geothermal, 15% hydropower, natural gas, nuclear, solar PV. Um, all right, so if I want to, this is the pro. Oh, we've we've got um. All right. I I'm a big. Yeah, man. Got to go for the wind turbines, mate. <laughs> Does this cost? Stuff. How do you do that? Oh, can I? It's current takes five percent production. 
So I can see Troy now on them drums. So if I... You can just just imagine Troy now. You got Drew yeah. on the keyboards. <laughs> oh, it's uh, yeah. So I've I've got to reduce it right. in something and put more in something else. So let's let's knock off some yeah definitely natural gas I think. Let's let's go. Oh, we've gone down to five. Five percent natural gas. Should I go full out? Get full rid? out natural gas. Yeah, cool. well, well, yeah. I mean, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Well, get rid but, of but, gas. but, but. All right. I mean, natural gas is out. You've got. Have you got worse ones than natural? I mean, natural gas is bad. But have we got worse ones we can wipe out first? Or is that the worst one there? Uh, coal. Oh, look at that. Thirty-five percent coal power. Got, Come on, man. You, Let's get rid. Let's go all out, eco, man. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, it. Well, let's see if we can do this. All right. So we've got rid of coal. We've got rid of gas. Now Gee, I, I thermals think two in. So then we need to replace that. Yeah. Let's have a look what it says. Uh, it just says geothermal energy uses heat from the Earth's yeah, yeah. core. We know about geothermal. Uh, all right, so let's let's push it up. Okay. Oh, I can't. I wonder if it's due to obviously <laughs> oh, that fuck. infrastructure. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. So you can only make up five yeah, percent. Okay. Let's right. look at that. We've obviously got solar. We've got wind. So They've got to go got, up, uh, there. Let's hit the wind up. Fifty percent wind. Is that yeah, get covered the it? Oh, we still got. We still not there yet with the energy use. A bit, bit of solar. I mean, sure. I mean, obviously, can you take away all the right. the fossil fuel ones and just add it to the? Or is that going to be contentedness going down of some kind? Or like, is it not as easy as that? I, I well, yeah, I'm, I'm going to assume. Uh, okay, so there's, so these changes take time as well. So I think we do it all in planning cycles. So there may be some issues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a bit easy. That, I had a but... feeling that might be from the outset. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we fixed it. <laughs> fixed it all. We just yeah, said completed the game. Fifty percent wind, fifteen percent solar, bit of geothermal. Yeah, right. Let's. Uh, okay, I think. I think that should work. Oh yeah, I got livestock. As oh well. god, what, fuel. Just, just go on livestock a right. second. This this livestock. game is. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. 100% industrial livestock. Alright. You know what? Let's get rid of that. Let's. Let's just go for a really heavy handed transition and well, see what happens. That's not a heavy handed transition. <laughs> He's still using oh, livestock. God. There, get him. Free those animals. Oh, well, yeah. Andrew. Come on. Increase the compost. So it says it, it will increase emissions. It's going to increase it land use by 1,748% and the water use by... And increase the extinction yeah, rate by 912%. All right. Okay. Let's... I, I'll be honest. Like, I do eat meat, so I, I don't want to give it up straight away in this game. I'm going to... I'm going to... We're going to go... I've got 10%. You know what? Give, listen, give give me a couple of planning cycles. Listen, just have you know my, my first, views. My last but listen, if you still need, listen, the end of the world. We just had a revolution, <laughs> but if you still want your your burgers and your steaks, mate, then you ca you crack on with ten percent. Just just. I for mean, a more than likely, cycle, it's, it's not going to allow you, you to know, just wipe stuff out. It just very can't stressful easy, work. So yeah, go on, get your ten percent up, mate. No, yeah, because I can't. Well. Yeah, well, I guess I have to. So these blue ones here is yeah, what, what we do you need. Mean what we need the blue ones. So I think I've got to. So like, there's the okay. that's the consumption that we have to support, and because we've not done not done crops. Right. So blue, blue means it, like, empty. No food. Right. <laughs> right now there is like yeah, four get, get cows the in a field somewhere. Let's have a quick somewhere. look on the crops. See what yeah. we can get it up at. So. Oh right. Oh well, okay. It won't let oh, me I change see. it because right. yeah, we're yeah, not a yeah. hundred. Uh, uh, so if I put this back, if I put this back to a hundred, I can then change it again. But we've got some mad problems. So it's a game of balance, <laughs> isn't it? Let's look at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Let, let's look at crops, all right. Vertical farming. V vertical farming is... Vertical is farming. Because of... Can I use 15%? Okay. And the small holdings. So I get, I, I guess, right, so through the plannings and the processes, we have to, like, reduce down the industrial stuff um, while increasing the small holdings and things. And we're yeah, kind of doing a bit of degrowth. It's tweaking, isn't it? Okay, so that is 40% industrial, 60% that. So that's better. Crops. Chewy. Yeah. Let's. Can I bump up that? Or is it. Oh, do I have to take it out of something else? So. Okay, so this will decrease emissions and land use and water use. Let's get down to 15%. No, go for I'm it. I'm kind of taking the reins here, mate. You know, and I said you were I'm, in again, charge, I'm just, but I'm just... I'm just loving the music, you know. It's got something about <laughs> from, from it. From the shadows, um... I'm... Uh, yeah, no, I like yeah. the music. Right. Uh, I think we've added two. And then I guess Organic can do the rest of it. Okay. And we've rebalanced quite heavily. Where's contentedness? Fuel not touched. Oh, do you know... Um... Do you know above where it says electricity, fuel, crops, livestock? They've got those like little bars. One looks like a skull. One looks like a happy face. Oh, that's I'm guessing happy faces contentedness. Mm. What's the what's the yellow like the temperature gaze? The yellow yeah. one. What's that? Oh right. That is the current global temperatures. Oh my, <laughs> my my drunk girlfriend has come back. Hold on one second. And what's the skull one? The red one with the red bar. What's that? Is biodiversity pressure? Are the fact so right? So the all the all the bad stuff mm -hmm. you can imagine is having a bad effect on that. Uh, but interesting, coal and gas power generation has a is like better on it. Okay. Um, then contentedness. Of course, yeah, always. You've got the post-revolution optimism. How long does it last? <laughs> yeah. How long's a piece of string? Okay. So we. If it drops to third, well, yeah, 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 you know what? If it drops to zero, right. we're out. Right. Okay. Fuel. What do you okay. want to do with the fuel? Okay. It's the last um, thing. So uh, yeah. we've not got anything really green in here yet. We've got blue and grey hydrogen Bio and biofuels. Fuels. You know what? Blue hydrogen, coal, grey hydrogen, natural gas, petroleum. Just move across, mate. What else we got? That they're all shite. Yeah. Have we got to just? Yeah. <laughs> but I, think I we've, see. You know I what it see, is? We, yeah. We've not yeah, researched. Yeah, we've already chosen the good stuff, stuff, and it's not yeah, enough yeah, energy yeah. output, basically. So we have to dance with the devil a little, a little bit. Is that right? Uh, got to ditch let's, the coal, man. We we've got to ditch the coal. Surely that's. <laughs> Who would you want to ditch? Yeah, Get... Coal's not as bad as. <sighs> Look at this. Yeah. So it, the the natural gas one uses way more water than the coal. The emissions. We should let, let, let's support the miners yeah. and scrap natural let's get gas. Get back to our working class <laughs> roots and for a very short right. time support the yeah, miners. All right. We're scrapping natural gas. So, okay. Normally at this point you could hit the big ready button to start running your plan. But first let's oh. visit Parliament and get okay. acquainted with the got people. More depth. <laughs> God. Do, do you know this what? Considering we were saying before game, the show, man. Andrew, how how this stressful is... it must be to um, to write a book, you know, but then to have have a computer game on the side, um, one that's actually you know had a lot of thought yeah. to it. Incredible, <laughs> really. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's open the government tab. God, we've not even seen the stats of the world yet. Government, right. Here we got. So we got to get other people on board. Uh, fucking hell! <laughs> I can't believe how in depth this game is. <laughs> other parties shown here may join your coalition as allies, depending on what you add to your plan. Ah, so right, there's people in here who aren't gonna mm. aren't gonna be happy about us ditching gas and going for hydrogen. I, I think we've gone quite authoritarian so far with some of our changes. <laughs> We'll find out. 
Nothing so drastic is necessary. The fire can unleash technology from the yoke of capitalism. <laughs> Create such abundance. It's Aaron <laughs> Bastani. Aaron Bastani's in the game. <laughs> Aaron's an accelerationist, right? Oh, symbiosis with nature is crucial. A hard lie is necessary. Te so, so this one's Bastani. Technology is key to liberation. A hard lie is necessary is the Stalinists, I guess. And that's symbiosis with nature is crucial. I feel like the to I'm feeling the top one. You know, at some point you're gonna have to, whether people okay. like it or not, you know, things have got to be done. Oh, interesting. So, yeah, if we have more of them yeah. on side, we get, like, these powers. Yeah, I like it. So right now, because we've got utopians, we yeah, get man, like limits and like protections and restorations. That are What's that one at the bottom? Right. Oh, the animal liberationists. Oh. I, I think, yeah, the utopians are the way to go, I think. But mate, but we've, we've got some tough choices to make. We've not even done term one yet. <laughs> this is just a... Right, let's do it, man. Now that we've thrown the gap... Yeah, thrown the gas workers underneath the bridge. All right, here we go. Ready. Ooh. Ooh. Uh oh. <laughs> Got to lower temperatures quickly. I'm trying. Oh. Oh man, we didn't think Changing about the music. flooding. <laughs> anything to lower temperature? Yeah, yeah. Do anything about the temperatures, we could see fewer of these events. Oh, I know that. So, is a planning cycle two years? Yeah, okay. This is what I thought. I thought I would hate the inconvenience not being able to fly. But who doesn't like. Tra who doesn't like trains? <laughs> who doesn't like trains? <laughs> uh, okay. So, we reduced the fuel demand by 50%. And containing us by two. Yeah. I feel like that's all right. Could be worse, could it? Ooh. Post-revolution right. optimism has been cut in half. Disasters. That's not... It's not... Oof. Maybe we should have handed out some T-shirts or something. <laughs> it could have helped. You'll present reports and rising changes. Improvements will foster confidence in your planning and gain your political capital. Okay. Uh, you manage your capital, you need to balance short term improvements, long term plans. So he lost six political, political capital. Extinction rate that came down, 10. which is good. Contentedness. Oh, it's got up 10%. Oh, that, oh, that, oh no, this is uh, the projections. <laughs> but temperatures are still minus, going up. Minus six, though. Uh, by 0.3%. And we're still under 1.5. Right, uh, good, good. We minus feel good about 20. that. Right. Okay. Right. <laughs> I like it. The I understand it more now. Yeah, yeah. You do, yeah, you do yeah. your bit. You, yeah. you press go. Everything your research will be in and all that. And then you yeah. add that to the mix. Um, You know, and you go again. Yeah. And then you research. Uh... Research is a key one, isn't it? It's like, you know, because you, you won't get the benefits of that until the next planning session, I assume. Yeah. Um, although the, I'm guessing now, I wonder if you know those are four years and eight years. I wonder if that takes two planning sessions rather than every time you press mm. go, it it comes in. I bet. I bet it will do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So maybe you so, have to uh, think about some sort of low hanging fruit stuff that's going to be developed uh, quicker. You know, quick there, hits. As a, fra a phrase I've I've heard a, a lot recently is quick wins. What are the quick wins? <laughs> Gotta get some. I, I think in this next Ooh. planning session, we need some quick wins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's, I don't know if I like that. Let's man. look for some quick man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, man, you know, two, two years on the planning committee has really changed me. <laughs> you have 57 uh, years left in your tenure. Okay. Oh, it's like, I guess it's three years tenure then. Three year planning. Okay. Should we carry on? Oh, we, we've not got much political capital. <laughs> oh, what well, forgot? Oh, it? oh, same tune, same tune. Good tune. Yeah. Yeah. So. We've given up on the no more flights. We've got a year left until we get the Hebcrete out, which will really sort out our um, our missions. Is it worth looking uh, at seeing who our allies in Parliament are after that? Yeah, let's have a let's have a look. Just because they've, some, they've got powers, aren't they? Certain they've got certain abilities and stuff. Maybe we can. 
All right. Oh, an so ally. We've got the, we've got the Utopians the environmentalist. and the environmentalists on side. Right. Brilliant. And what can what can they do for us? The environmentalists. Restoration projects are substantially cheaper. Brilliant. Maybe we should restore some stuff. Of course, yeah. And then and the what's... Utopians are the same. What's um, Utopians? Okay. Restoration projects. Uh, Utopians is oh, let limits, protections, and... Pro okay, so we've got some dirt cheap restoration yeah, projects good, right good. now. Good, Okay, I'm all right with this. So let's have a look at that. Let's have a look. So let's add some restoration projects. Got to do something about the rising temperatures. I, I know, man. I know. I recommend throwing all our options we have at this one issue. One of them has got to work. Okay. Ooh, desperate talk. Uh, right, you know what? The day yeah. you actually start talking like that, you know it's fucking dire straits. Yeah. So we want something that reduces temperature. Yeah. What, but... what do you reckon? I'm trying to... Uh... See, I'm in two minds between how do you beat the game or how do you get advance in the game and reality, yeah. you know, I, I don't believe yeah, in yeah, yeah. power is going to be... Well, the infrastructure we've got now is too old. It's going to take too long to build new stuff. Mm. And obviously, you've got the waste issues and all these other things. So for me, I mean, two minds about whether I just want to we do what I think's right or want to do what I think advances in the game. We could dump it more in wind power. I I, I am like fully wind. I'm totally on board with wind these yeah, days. Yeah, yeah, like, cool, yeah. Should we, should we push more wind? Yeah. Right, okay. 55% yeah. is yeah. wind. <laughs> I think we've got to do something about petrol. P petroleum? Oh, yeah. Petroleum, 55% yeah. of course we do, mate. Get it down. Yeah. Now, can I leave now? Or no, because we, we don't have enough production. Yeah. So, looking at this... It's probably. Is it? I can't believe how low coal is on everything. Yeah. Power emissions. Yeah. The emissions are terrible, but everything else is. pretty good. Maybe, we, that... maybe we should support, support coal. <laughs> <laughs> Well, in, the, in well, in this of the options we've got there, I would say that it's it's telling us that coal is. And again, what's the least emissions out of all? Then the, oh, petrol, petroleum is it? No. Yeah. Oh no. Um, oh no. Least grey hydrogen. Grey hydrogen. Or blue hydrogen. Yeah. Right, or let's, blue hydrogen. Let's choose one of those two. Let's go full blue. Yeah. It increases energy use by 190%. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know how to get the temperature down. <laughs> I, I don't know how, what controls that. Uh, well, it's going to be burning fossil fuels. Yeah. So anything that burns a lot of fossil fuels has got to go. We might yeah. even have to go into the orthodox authoritarian route at some mm. point, mate. Which is my well, we fear can, for uh, the future. Restoration. Here we go. Restoration. Uh, we can do this really cheap, which is reduces biodiversity pressure, which is good, and unlocks the ban on exotic animals trade and other stuff. I reckon we should do that. Ban outdoor cats. Oh, I thought it's. <laughs> I didn't even read it. <laughs> just... Do you know what environmentalist curriculum? Yeah. If you just click on that, if people can understand the reasons why the government is doing what it's doing, you know, I reckon that's gonna have a a good outcome. Next right. next planning session done. Hempcrete, all right. We've increased the land demand for concrete by a lot, but reduce CO2 emissions, which is the, th I think the thing we're after, aren't we? <laughs> oh. It's not fucking good, is it? A 
new mosquito born disease. Uh uh. It's not looking good, ads. <laughs> Listen, so these things are coming regardless work. of what we do. So, yeah. um... Compost. We got composting now. <laughs> it happened. <laughs> I feel like maybe we went a bit small fry now. <laughs> <laughs> Increases all plant-based food production by 5%. That's big, man. Yeah. These regions' income levels have increased to lower middle. Demand for electricity, fuel, and plants and animal-based food has been updated. Central Africa now... Okay, well, good for Central Africa. Can we, uh. Yeah. Alright. The Earth Liberation Front. God. The Earth is calling for aid, and so we, the Earth Liberation Front, have returned. You better abandon the cozy relationship with the, the accelerist, accelerationists, or else we'll have to take drastic action to protect the planet. We're being threatened, ads. They're threatening us. The <laughs> bees are fucked. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, we've got to get that biodiversity going. Right. Oh. The bees, man, the bees. Okay. Oh, no, look at the, that. Uh, Poor poise. 2% for... For the porpoises being dead. That feels a lot for porpoises. No offence to them, but like... I'd be upset, but not like 2% upset. Of everyone in the world, the porpoises died. Mm. <laughs> no, no, no comment ads? No comment Well, ads. you know, it's, it's like dolphins and porpoises. People do absolutely love them, don't they? Wait, so is that... Are we saying this is all dolphin species or just porpoises? No, it's just, it's just, as far as I can tell, just a particular type of uh, porpoise, but... Well, so we, we started at 30 contentedness and it's gone down, um, it's at 40 and if we get to zero, we lose. Yeah. So two out of 30 is not, you know, it's nearly 10%. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, that's probably a bit high, yes. People fucking loving porpoises, man. So temperatures haven't changed. Okay. That's good. That's that is good. Stabilizing temperatures. Um, emissions have come down. Consensus plus up. five. Extinction yeah, yeah. rate temp minus ten. Total change minus four hundred sixty-five. What does that mean? Have we lost? What's this one? Total change. What's the star like... symbol? That's the political uh, capital. Is it? We, minus four sixty five. Right, come on, let's see let's see what get... let's see what Parliament's looking yeah. like. Okay. You've exhausted all your are we out? We're out. Oh the hero. Oh fuck fuck. I believe in your decisions. I'll vouch for you. My word matters a lot of generation. Plus 50 capital. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Greta. <laughs> Greta saved her ass. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was an important hero from the revolution. That could be you, Ads. You, could, you, <laughs> that, you, could, you, you saved us. If they're vouching for you, then you'll have a bit more political capital to work with. But they can only help you this one time. So don't mess things up. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? That's pretty realistic, feeling. that, you know. That is pretty realistic yeah. because th there is certain figures within a government, especially after revolutions, yeah. that have massive sway with the people and can yeah. step in. Um, so, you know what? I'll give him that one. That's that's not unrealistic. Yeah. And getting the feeling that maybe we, like, fucked up quite a lot in those first two planning sessions. <laughs> or maybe it's just that it's impossible to not fuck it up. The thing is, you've got to be strict. Like, you've got to be strict. There's no, yeah. like, tweaking, you know. The days of tweaking are over. There's been a revolution, don't yeah. forget. The whole premise of the game is there's been a revolution. Yeah. So We shouldn't have um, We should have gone bigger than composting. <laughs> <laughs> We're running out of <laughs> points, aren't we? All right, come on, let's, yeah. let's go again. Right. 
pay out energy, carbon capture, and sequestration. Oh no. Oh, bullshit that one. Yeah. We could have green hydrogen. I mean, cellular meat means we could reduce. Oh, we've gone past that. Animal agriculture. Uh, it says it doesn't do that. <laughs> it doesn't do that. <laughs> what does it do? Yeah. It unlocks cellular. Oh, it unlocks that, which has a low land use. All right, maybe we should do that then. But I was just me. Ten I'm years. feeling that like, yeah. There's that green hydrogen. What else we got? Next gen solar panels so, got to happen. All right, let's let's do that. We're gonna yeah. We're gonna do that in. Let's get it down to ten years. Do floating turbines? That's only ten years right now. Yeah, get them on as well then. Okay. Let's. So there's stuff like this which reduces global temperatures. Carbon it's like capture. Geoengineering in it. Yeah, yeah. It's what it says, mate. It's right there. Yeah, it's not good though. What's that one? Oh, carbon capture. Yeah. yeah. Fully automation. Oh. I mean, carbon capture would be fantastic. I just don't. Is that isn't that research though? Because that technology is small scale right now, isn't it? Yeah. But so it says it reduces CO two emissions for combustion processes by twenty percent. Yeah, which is good. How much is that? It's not. Uh, twenty seven years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's see what the government situation is right. Our coalition is the same. <laughs> it's not changed. Do you know what, though? Listen, oh, look who we've got on our side, the ones we want. I'd like the yeah. Fanonis <laughs> as well. Uh, but the rest... Well, we can do that. We can try and get the fa Fanonis on board. Um, is the Animal Liberationists in Parliament? Are they like a... What's, they, what's that? A, yeah, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> If we get them on board, food projects will be cheaper. Yeah, if we get the lights, Peter Singer, Peter puns Singer oh. veganizing things and punk music, and dislikes bacon and honey. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Well, the eco feminists will make protection projects and food agriculture cheaper. Okay. Lights, lichen composting, Ursula Le Guin, and tardy grades. He dislikes patriarchy. Uh -huh. Francis stick. Bacon and reply, oh, guys. <laughs> reply. What does that say? Reply, guys. Reply, guys. Let's let's crack on. Um, yeah, I don't know. I I feel like we've not got a lot of political capital. Right. We've not got anything that's going to happen in the next parliament, but. That's, that's another key to, to it. Stuff. You've got to have those like things that happen straight away. Get some political capital. Yeah. I tell you what. These changes will take. Listen, I'm happy with what we've done. All right, with the options we've been given. Yeah. Let's go for it. Yeah. If it finishes us off, it finishes us off, right? And we we're gonna we can All learn right. from that. Uh, people are furious. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> the mob has raided our building. They're looking for you. Oh, God. Any last words? Any last <laughs> words, scum. This is the only way to save the planet. Oh, hang on. Oh, this is our last words, yeah. right? We can even yeah, say, this is us, we mate. We say scum. <laughs> this is the only way to save the planet. Oh, I did what I thought was best. Yeah. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I th <sighs> I'm I leaning mean, towards the latter. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we did what we thought we were best. It's got to be that. We did it in good faith. Uh, yeah. With lim limited, you know, knowledge. Your legacy as a planner was one that you feared most. Leaving the world oh, in no. a worse shape than you found it. Desperate and disheartened people across the globe rose up against you and your plans. Were you incompetent? Malicious? I'm going to go with incompetent. 
He didn't matter oh, to no. them. <laughs> didn't matter. Didn't matter to them. If only you could go back if and try again. This I is can not try the end. again. When it's twenty thirty-five, though, <laughs> you know, twenty thirty-five. Now, uh, <laughs> all joking aside, I think this is an excellent tool for students. Yeah, I, think, yeah, I think this is an excellent tool this for, for, to get students or young adults um, just to be thinking of these things, just to be playing around with these things, yeah. um, understanding these things a bit better. Well, you know, we 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 kept kept, we kept clear of the authoritarianism. We hung out with the utopians and the environmentalists. Yeah. And it got us murdered in 2035. So. Got us murdered, murdered, yeah. Um. You know what? It'd be, it'd be good to have a well, few. We were goals ousted and... from power. I don't know if we were murdered. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, though, we are on a time scale. And I'm wondering, because obviously tweaking, you know, just little tweaks, little tweaks, little tweaks, the planet will be dead by the time you become a success. So it's, I suppose it's about knowing what to sort of come down hard on. You know, I suppose contentedness right. will be a key. Contentedness. But then again, it's almost like, well... Should we, should, should, should we play it again? And we'll just go heavy on like big changes, fuck contentedness for a bit and see what happens. And see how long we last. So heavy on the big changes. Heavy on big changes. Yeah. Let's right. Let's go. It. Let's go. <laughs> right. Come on, Gossy. This time we've got it. We're go- we're going full, full authoritarian. <laughs> what do we want? Should we get it down to five years? Yeah. Five years. Yeah. Well, mate. Wait, so a planning session is three years. Yeah. I think. So. Let's get it done in three. I can't. <laughs> we can't get it in less than four. Okay. Right. Because we either unlock flexitarianism or a masculinity detox, which reduces fuel, fuel demand and demand for animal-based products. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I understand that. Okay. <laughs> or, or, we, or we reduce animal-based products by 20%. So we can go... Oh, maybe we have to get... Yeah, we have to go flexitarian to get to the vegan mandate. We've not got the the, the political power for that. Let, let's do all of them. Let's do environmental curriculum and the eco-feminists and... Past. <laughs> the, uh, ban outdoor cats. <laughs> uh, and the animal liberation. Well, that means we get meatless Mondays. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. So let's scrap the coal. Right. And then a bit of wind, a bit of solar, and. And a hydropower? Yeah. All right. I, I think we've been a bit bolder this time. Oh, the fuels. God. <laughs> I just forget how complicated this game is literally just after playing it. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's see what happens. 2022. Wildfires. Can't do anything about that. <laughs> I feel like this feels a lot more hopeful than the last time. Yeah. So. Okay. Oh, temperatures are going up way higher than last time. Oh, wow. Um, contentedness what is still up. Emissions are down. So are we on 1.5 there? Uh, so we will be. Wait, is it 2025 now? Yeah. Yeah, because it's a free so we, cycle, isn't it? We, we, we burst through Paris this time. So we're on 1.5. That's We're not going to be not in Parliament that. is... <laughs> Parliament is conspiring against us. <laughs> People are unhappy about it. Mm. Yeah. 
Yeah, we've not got any real political power. Food, Meatless Mondays. Right, let's go in on Meatless Mondays. Let's... <laughs> Maybe we just got to push through these first two planning meetings to get it all done. <laughs> should we should we hit 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 go again and we'll just see what happens? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay. <laughs> oh, Porpoise is gone again, man. Again, I think that's just this locked time. in. Yeah. Central Africa. Uh. Is getting richer, which is good. We, the small holdings aren't working though. Uh oh, the eco terrorists are back. Mm. But you know, we 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 put the ore in for meatless Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's going to be enough. <laughs> 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 it's now twenty twenty nine. Um. All right. Oh, thanks for cutting out your meat, mate. It feels like. <laughs> oh. So contentedness. Yeah, it's not. Plus we got seven. two. <laughs> we're doing two contentedness. If it goes down any more, we're out. <laughs> Fuck. People are furious. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah, we're out. But yeah, the, the, the hero's here. The hero saves us again. Greta's come back to save no, us once more. If you look, he's got a military medal there. This this is a hero of the revolution. I, I I'm just saying that I think you know in the next ten years Greta could get a an AK and <laughs> you know really step it up. <laughs> reduces. Let's have a look. Reduces emissions by zero point one. Reduces biodiversity pressure by zero point five. Unlocks the phase out commercial fish. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's do that, yeah, man. We can abolish zoos. <laughs> abolish prison. Do you know what? Oh, we we can. Uh... Abolish prisons. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Oh, look at that. Abolish prisons increases world contentedness by three. Controversial. Get the... F Listen, let, let's... I want the fanonist curriculum now. Yeah, a okay. Bit of Franz Fanon. Fanonists. I think we should go for the flexitarians. Flexitarians. Because then we'll okay. need less... Yeah, less uh, animal-based food. Masculinity detox. Or we can go for... Yeah... The, veg the vegan mandate. Yeah, we can't. What's this? You know what, man? Listen, you know where I'm. You know where I'm on this, but I don't know if it's gonna. We've worked. We've, we've not got enough political me. capital. We we can. We can we can do the vegetarian mandate. We Is can that just a afford the vegetarian. Is between me and thee? Go on then. Yeah. Let's do All that right. then. You ready to yeah. go into the future? It's nice knowing you, mate. We did our best. <laughs> Just make it quick, Too that's all I say. Just oh, make fuck. it quick. <laughs> <laughs> and let my family oh. live. Leave my family out uh, of this. Well, I think we're all dead, <laughs> mate. Uh, uh. We expanded public transport. All right, we did it. It's essential, essential, universal, basic yeah. services. So temperatures stay the same. Contentedness up. Is that up? We're on ten. Extinction rate. Uh, I think that's better. <laughs> And emissions have gone up. Slightly. Slightly. People are furious. Biodiversity is stabilising. Oh, beautiful. And the parliament is conspiring against us. Um, yeah, so what's your what's your overall feelings? I th I think it's great. I think I uh, I want to learn how to crack it properly. It's, I think it's going to take some serious... I think I have to do a PhD just to make... Just to win the game. 
which I guess it would be winning civilization. So you know, yeah, I like. Yeah, that sounds pretty. I good. honestly think it's very, very good for students. This. Oh, we've got so many allies now. Look at that. Oh, look at that. We've got the fanonists, the eco feminists, oh, and the environmentalists. Yeah. We're definitely in the up. We're not dead yet no, as well. No. We're not dead yet. No. Please, please let us know if you enjoyed that, if you thought it was good, if you thought it was bad. Uh, maybe we'll maybe we'll try again in the future. And have a go yourselves. If you, you know. Yeah, yeah. Let us know how you got on. If you know of any other uh, socialist or environmentalist games, maybe we'll play them. And hopefully we can save the planet one bit at a time. Bye. See you guys. Take care.